to Microbial Luke. My name is Luke Anderson and today we are going to be looking at my blood under a microscope. So we have our syringe right here which you can see is very sharp. What we're going to do is take some blood from my arm right here. I'm going to remove the cap and on the count of three, one, two, oh! What we're actually going to do is use a needle to puncture my finger and get a little bit of blood. Now my grandfather was a cardiologist and in the Philippines he was short on resources, so in order to sterilize the needle, he used some alcohol and put it on a flame and sterilize the needle that way. All right, we're gonna take this alcohol swab and clean my finger. We're just gonna prick it. Blood is a body fluid in humans that delivers necessary substances such as nutrients and oxygen to cells. In humans, blood is composed of blood cells suspended in blood plasma. The blood cells are mainly red blood cells, called erythrocytes, white blood cells, called leukocytes, and platelets, called thrombocytes. The most abundant cells in vertebrate blood are red blood cells. Plasma makes up about half of blood and contains proteins, glucose, mineral ions, hormones, carbon dioxide, and blood cells themselves. Red blood cells contain hemoglobin, an iron-containing protein which facilitates oxygen transport by reversibly binding to oxygen gas. Human blood is bright red when its hemoglobin is oxygenated and dark red when it is deoxygenated. Red blood cells have a concave center to increase surface area and ultimately increase oxygen transport. Red blood cells also have no nucleus. This decreases the cell's need for oxygen and helps increase the efficiency of its oxygen transport. Red blood cells develop in bone marrow and circulate in the body for around 120 days before they are replaced. Well, we've learned a lot today about blood, which is a major bodily tissue that provides both oxygen and immunological support. Remember, I'm Luke Anderson. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and comment down below any advice or any comments you have for me. And don't forget, I am microbially yours.